Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving linear inequalities in one variable, and this is part 2. Recently, meron tayong uploaded video, which is the part 1, and you can see it here, and pwede ko rin ilagay sa ating description box yung ating part 1 for you to view it or watch it. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Yung mga examples natin dito for this part 2 ay more on fractions. I will try to teach you how to solve or find the solution of linear inequalities if fractional form na yung ating inequality. In number 1, we have here 3x is greater than 14 minus x over 2. The reason bakit mo siya mahirap is that meron tayong denominator or meron tayong part ng inequality in which in fractional form. So ang target natin ngayon to solve this first is to eliminate this denominator. We can use cross multiplication, pero ang gagamitin ko dito is yung multiplication on both sides of the inequality. And I will multiply it by 2, kasi ang target natin is to eliminate this. So, paano? When multiplying 2 by this term, 14 minus x over 2, para ka lang nag-cancel out nito. Maka-cancel out yan. And then, the, there you have it. You have 14 minus x on the right side of the inequality, and here... On the left side of the inequality, 2 times 3x, which is 6x. So what we have now is 6x is greater than 14 minus x. Next step natin is to combine like terms. We need to combine 6x and negative x. So ang ko dito, I will add both sides by x. Add both sides by x. And negative x plus x is 0. Or we can simply eliminate this one. And this part... 6x plus x is 7x. Copy, greater than 14. What's next is, we will divide both sides of the inequality by 7 and 7. We can cancel this out, cancel this out, and as you can see, we have x is greater than 14 divided by 7, which is equal to 2. And this is now the answer for the first example, x is greater than 2. What is the meaning of this? Ibig sabihin nito guys, the possible values of x are those numbers greater than 2. And take note, 2 is not included. Now for example, number 2 guys, we have here 4 terms. 2x over 3 plus 5 is greater than 3x over 4 minus 1 over 5. So kanina, uh, we have one denominator only. But this time, meron tayong three denominators. So, kailangan natin makuha yung kanyang LCM. The LCM of these numbers are 3, of 3, 4, and 5 is 60. Yung iba ginagawa nila, they're just multiplying it. Pero, um, minsan, accurate siya, minsan hindi. But in this case, naging accurate naman. So, we will multiply it by 60, both sides. Yan. So, what will happen is this. We will multiply it 1 by 1 using distributive property. Here, we have 60 times 2x over 3. And then, dito naman, plus 5 times 60 is greater than this one 3x over 4 times 60 and for the other one we have minus 1 over 5 times 60 so we will do cancellation here so we can cancel out 3 it will become 1 and 60 will become 20 so we have here 20 times 2x, that is 40x. And this time, for 5 times 60, that is plus 300. Is greater than, you can cancel this out, yung 4 and 60, it will become 1, and this is 15. So let's multiply them. 30 times 15, that is 45x minus 16 and 5, this is 1, this is 12. 
So that is minus 12. And then combine like terms, guys. I will transpose it here. It will become 40x minus 45x. And 300, transpose natin sa kabila. That is greater than negative 12 minus 300. So simplify natin. This will become negative 5x is greater than negative 312. So as you can see, what you need to do here is to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 5 by negative 5. Cancel this one, cancel this one, and remember, whenever you are multiplying or dividing it by negative, your inequality natin, we need to reverse the sign, and it will become positive 312 over 5. And this is the answer, guys. Hindi natin kailangan gawin yung mixed number, guys. Okay na yan. Again, ba't natin na-reverse yung, yung symbol? Because we divided it by negative. Okay? So, I hope, guys, nakuha niyo yung mismong lesson natin on how to solve linear inequalities in one variable with fractions. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami, marami salamat.